Hi there, name's Peter Pumpkinbush. Nice to meet you. You may have been looking for a new exciting way to have explosive diarrhea. I found it. I found it. I love you, colon girl, it's my world. I will never make a sound. So we're on day 25 of the juice fast. So far, so good. There's no reason I won't make it to 90 days. I've done a bunch of juice fasts in the past, little one to three day mini ones, a 13 day one that almost ended me, a nine, and now we're at 25 of a 90 potential. So if you've been juice curious and you've been thinking of doing a juice fast, this is everything you need to know as a beginner, how to do it. Let's start off with why to do it. Just briefly, this is to flush out. This is unlike any other diet or cleanse or water fast. It's not a fast. It's a flush, a juice flush. And you just, you evacuate the bowels of stink and mistakes. There's old stuff in there. Anybody who's done a juice fast knows that you're drinking this magnificent cantaloupe juice of the gods and then it turns into sulfury demonhood. And you know it's not the juice. There's no way, it's old stuff. It accumulates. Get it out and you'll feel so much better. In my opinion, this is the fastest way that I've discovered so far to remove waste from the body and heal and just reset the body. My wrist was almost broken from a golf swing incident for like three years it's been. It's not healing. Day three on this juice fast, it gets painful all of a sudden. It's like, oh no, it's gotten worse. It took like five days, now it feels like new. Brand new wrist, how? juice magic. Just go search online for motivation from people who have done long juice fast. Nathan Von Dutch, Luminous Raw. There's so many people. John Rose, the master. Just good things happen to good people who put in the effort. So first things first, you're probably gonna need a juicer for this. The juicer you have from 1984 that your grandmother used once for carrots, that's not gonna cut it. There will be links down below for each of what I think are the best ones. I've done a bunch of research. I went with the Omega NC800. And this is the one I bought, I'm sorry. I bought three people juicers, it's the same one. It's fantastic. There's one <laughs> minor flaw with it, is that sometimes juice will leak out of the back. Pretty much all juicers have that problem, but for whatever reason, then it gets sticky, and then the locking mechanism can be really hard to turn. So sometimes you gotta unscrew it and then just like wash that, it's a pain in the bitch. But other than that, fantastic juicer. I trust Omega just because they have like 15 year warranties. And my last Omega juicer, the 8004, lasted, it was a 10 year warranty, but lasted like 12 years. And then the little plastic end piece broke. I could have just replaced that. We're talking juicing daily and multiple juice fast with that juicer over 12 years. I just decided to upgrade. I saw a used one, 150. Wow, they're like 500 new but you wanna spend the money, get a good one. You're gonna have this for years, and even after your juice fast, you're probably gonna incorporate at least a green juice every day. You should. I swear. It's violent on the juice. The VSJ843 is a different style. It's vertical, it has a dual auger system. Apparently it's better for fruit juices than the NC800 would be. I haven't tested it though, but I believe it. Go watch discountjuicer.com on YouTube. He like tests everything way too thoroughly. If you wanna know anything about juicers, just go to John Kohler and he's got your back. So get yourself a nice juicer. When it comes to how much juice to drink, anywhere from four to eight liters seems to be the accepted amount. I drink five liters a day, four of fruit juice, one giant green juice. Five liters, I seem to be losing weight very slowly. Last week I only lost 1.4 pounds. I think that's good. I could up it. Ah. The more you drink, the faster you heal, but the more you pee and the more it costs and the more shopping you have to do, there's a balance. And obviously this is different. You might be six foot five. I'm five foot seven, 137 ish pounds. If you're curious, I lost two pounds the first week of this juice fast. The second week I lost 5.2 pounds and I was flushing a lot more stuff. And then in this third week, I haven't been releasing as much. It's mostly liquids. It still stinks to high heaven, but I've only lost 1.4 pounds. So it's, it's interesting. The weight we lose is the gunk we have. Get it out. Little pro tip for you. Greens are fantastic. 
I think you need the balance. Fruit is nice, it's cleansing, it's energizing, but the greens have the minerals and there's just something about them and the savory taste. You get sick of the sweet after a while. So instead of adding greens to your fruit juice and just still having this sweet tasting thing but now with nasty greens in it, go for the deliciousness of one full stalk of celery, one lemon, any dark leafy green of choice, spinach, fantastic, parsley, you get into like collards, you're getting weird. That'll taste weird. Asparagus if you got it. Ginger, that's the base. Celery, lemon, ginger, dark leafy green. That will taste salty, soury, delicious. You will love it so much. It's such a nice break from the sweet. And consider adding in like medicinal herbs, like the ginger is so powerful. You just know it, you smell it. You're like, oh. I just, I think back to the first human who ever found it. He was digging, like, what's that? And then he brings it back home and says, let's smell this. So magic and turmeric and cabbage if you have ulcers. That's known to heal ulcers. So there's certain things, just research the benefits. All fruits, and they all have their purpose. But there's some that are just tailored to your needs. And just a warning, don't try random ass combinations that you have no idea what you're doing. You're just like, oh, broccoli, cabbage, beets, onion. Oh. Oh, why? It doesn't have to be so hard. Stick with what's true. Melons, fantastic. Melons are the easiest because you get so much juice out of one go. Just one watermelon can give you like three, four liters, depending on how big. Apple, carrot, tried, tested, and true. Throw a little ginger in there. Orange, apple. These things are fantastic. The green juice I told you about, but when you start getting into like cabbage, that's a spicy one, it's weird. It'll heal your ulcers, but go just a tiny amount. In my opinion, fresh is best. If you can just make your juice, drink that, then you make another juice later. I do the watermelon, that makes multiple juices, so that's one exception. But I just, you can make them and store them in the fridge, and you make sure to fill it right up to the tip so it's like over spilling. Once you put the lid on, it like drips out and then no oxygen gets in. You could go that route. I just, I prefer, I'm lucky that I'm, I work from home, I don't have to leave, but if you have to go to work, I know some people juice everything the night before, it's all in their fridge, then they just bring that to work and they're good to go. It could be done. Some things to expect. You have to know you're gonna pee a lot more, just way more, and plan around it. You can't just leave the house random, oh, I'm gonna take the subway for four hours. No, you have to pee somewhere. Uh, just that solution's on you. Make sure your park nearby has a washroom or something if you're leaving for too long. I plan it all. It's like, I'll drink my juice, pee, then go shopping, come back, I already have to pee again. That's fine. For the most part, you should feel so much better than you usually do. You'll have more energy, but there's gonna be times where you just, you dip down. I've had it several times where like two days in a row, I'm just very tired. Just know you're not doing anything bad. Your body's just going to work. It's like, okay, he's giving us a break here. Do you mind if I take 70% of our resources and fix my spleen with it? You didn't even know your spleen was damaged, but it's just working on mysterious stuff in your body. It's like, okay, we have the time. And it goes for it. You might have lots of diarrhea, skin issues, things happen, but it's good. It's a good thing to have a lump come out of your head. I can't wait for my next one. This is seriously the most important factor. You just have to have faith. This is detox. Don't confuse yourself and start wondering, oh, what, did the cantaloupe, I'm allergic to cantaloupe, oh, it must, stop overthinking it. You're cleansing out, it's good. You might feel like shit sometimes, but uh, if you have the discipline to go 90, imagine it. At the end of that, you're gonna feel better. Try to be active when you have energy. I've done both ways, working out and just resting and conserving all my energy to heal. I don't think it's good, you're stagnant, you're weak. Put on some muscle. Muscle gives you, wait for it, strength to fight off anything, including disease. I just feel so much more hefty and powerful having some muscle. So I've been working out every day, one arm pull up. That's what I achieved on day 12 of a juice fast. Are you kidding me? Don't be afraid of doing enemas either. We're trying to flush out here. And if you can help, I'm telling you, flushing with all this juice, I'm getting old sticky matter. It's hard to eliminate. 
sometimes like it's it's just sticky it's like how the hell my body is struggling to get rid of it so uh, doing an enema it's like all this stuff comes out so don't be afraid just do it maybe not every day but go for it i did a lemon lemon enema just squeeze a couple lemons in there it's pulling it's a, it's a little harsh it's an aesthetic one but i got some i got a worm out when i did that lemon will pull the worms out of your gut it was clearly a worm a long skinny white thing surrounded in mucus i was like wow get a strainer put it in i'm starting to do it a little bit sometimes it's weird i'm weird you got to be weird embrace the weird put a strainer in your toilet and you poo into it and you're like wow look at all that stuff thank god that's not inside me anymore then it's just like how do you dump it in the toilet and spray it off with your bum hose don't even think of doing this without a bum hose can you imagine all the toilet paper chafing your ass you're gonna get a rash just spray that thing when it comes to supplements i'm erring on the side of caution i take a little b12 sometimes a couple times a week d3 a little bit get out in the sun if you can i don't think we need much some people take the flax oil you're supposed to i i'm it's debatable to me if you have enough greens you're getting fats in the greens there's omega-3s there's tons of omega-3s in cantaloupe it's one of the highest sources papaya too but that's hard to juice cantaloupe's easy i don't know i'm taking some flax oil just be safe don't i don't do it every day i don't think you need the whole tablespoon either some say women need the hemp and men need the flax i don't know I, i'm just repeating information i've heard i have no idea if that's true women need more omega-6 i don't know it's floating out there john rose said it do it if you got it the whole point is to have some fat to keep your gallbladder active and flushing out you want to flush out your liver so it helps you eat some fat bile's produced flushes out brings toxins with it it's like cool it's possible that slows detox down though i just i don't know where i sit on it i'm leaning towards it's not good i like to rinse my mouth out after every juice i don't know that it helps josh x on youtube he did a long fast with orange juice and he swished it in his mouth just to prove that nothing bad would happen and nothing did and i tell you i had some tooth sensitivity in the beginning but now they feel better than they ever have they're getting stronger so don't be a little afraid when oh no my teeth it's the sugar and the acids killing me it's not it's detox look up a tooth meridian chart dickhead they're all connected to your organs if your liver's detoxing this tooth will hurt possibly don't quote me on that don't you lose your teeth on my watch when it comes to the clay and psyllium i just tried it a couple days ago and yesterday i'm not I, nothing magical has happened yet it's not clearing out it seems to have slowed things down probably still in me i don't know i don't know if it's needed i'm gonna back off for a bit and then revisit it we'll see we'll see what happens but i did get out something it was like hard and rubbery probably the clay i don't know it was different from the other stuff i looked at it i poked it with toilet paper this is too much for you i see it also make a chart write everything down journal this i write like how did i sleep the night before what juices am i drinking how's my energy how's my digestion how's my skin did i observe anything special that happened just write it all down and then you can look back at your days it's like oh yeah remember that i was feeling tired and every time i was tired then the next day i had a giant movement and then i felt better and you can see the patterns of detox it's always going to be a wave just ride that wave sometimes it's like you're feeling on top of the world and then down it'd be nice if it was just better 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 yeah <laughs> but it's usually like better better much worse oh but oh, oh okay i'm better than i was i'm dead again now the most important thing is just having a goal from the beginning just knowing like i really want to do this i want to see what 90 days really feels like going the distance that's what anybody can do a one day fast no that was fun a little flush it's a break it's delicious it takes discipline to go longer but the rewards that will see us all in the end i just you have to set it because you're gonna have some cravings sometimes and you might break don't break have the discipline fight for glory here some people are just gonna oh i want salt i'm just gonna have some crackers and end the whole thing I, my cravings are nothing 
in the beginning, I had a couple days, I wrote it down, like one night I was starving. I just, I wanted anything. I didn't drink any more juice the next day, like they went away. Some people say it's the parasites controlling your brain, could be. As the stuff leaves your body and then you're just, oh, I sense the burgers in my body, I want it. Just stay with me, burger. I have no cravings, like this, is so delicious. If you're super hungry, you probably just need more fruit juice. If you're craving the salty stuff, it's the greens you're after. So make that green juice. That should be good. That should get you started. So links down below for anything that I think may be helpful for you. Affiliate links for the juicers, other juice channels, good information. So check them out. So much helpful information on the internet. So you start your channel and document it. and YouTube will suppress you. It'll be fantastic. Thumb up the video if you liked it. Thumbs down. If instead of a juice fast, you're going to blend seagull feathers that you find on the beach. They're not even that high in seagull six. There's better sources and it's not even proven to heal the body. Sure, they help. It's like fiber and they do brush away all disease, but it doesn't mean you should do it. There could be sand in the feathers, there probably is. That's silica, not the absorbable. I'll, I'll leave. After you buy a vegetable conspiracy t-shirt. Police, subscribe for my video, I'm saying that.